Check out these three ways to cut and cook spaghetti squash the right way. Did you know there's a very particular way to cut and cook spaghetti squash to get those long strands? It's important to know the strands in spaghetti squash run crosswise, not lengthwise. So every time you cut in half at the stem, lengthwise, you're literally cutting the strands in half. We don't want that. Instead, we need to make the cuts crosswise. This is method number one and my favorite. Cut the squash into rings about one and a half inch thick. Remove the flesh and seeds, spread them out on a roasting sheet and season with olive oil or avocado oil and salt and pepper. Roast for 30 minutes or until tender to your liking. We prefer our spaghetti squash al dente. Then just separate the strands using a fork. Look how easily it comes off. You may also remove the skin from the squash rings and gently fluff up the spaghetti squash. Roasting rings of spaghetti squash requires a bit of legwork and muscles in the beginning, but then it effortlessly all comes together. It's less likely you'll overcook the squash using this method. Serving the squash inside their rings also makes for a beautiful presentation. Method number two. Here we're cutting the squash in half crosswise. Remove the flesh and seeds and like with the rings, season with salt and pepper and oil. Pop them in the oven to roast, cut side down. Once they're done roasting, separate the spaghetti squash strands with the fork and gently scoop out. Don't do this step when the squash is still piping hot. This is best done when slightly cooled, otherwise it may just mash together. And lastly, method number three. This way is the least fussy because we're roasting the spaghetti squash whole. First, make a few holes in the skin of the squash. This will allow proper heat circulation. Once roasted, cut in half crosswise, but be careful, the squash will be hot, but the knife will glide through like butter. Scoop out the seeds and flesh, separate the strands with the fork. This method, although seems easier, is most likely to overcook the squash, so don't cook for longer than necessary. Either way, any of these methods work well to achieve that pasta-like spaghetti squash strands. There are so many ways to enjoy spaghetti squash. It goes well with pretty much anything. Chicken, fish, steak, even eggs. Serve it with some Parmesan cheese and fresh parsley or go all out and top it with your favorite bolognese sauce. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more.